Welcome to another episode of Mondays with Milt. Now today I'm with the president of Wirecrafters, Mr. Steve Debold, and we are going to talk about briefly what we do for all the employees at Thanksgiving time. So Steve, why don't you take it from there? Milt, as you know, for the past 39 years for you and for everybody else, we've handed out a holiday basket full of food, enough to prepare a Thanksgiving meal for everybody. What all is in that basket? I'm telling you, there's a pretty large turkey. There's a can, a can of corn, a can of peas, a 10 pound bag of potatoes, a bag of apples, uh, there's some oranges, there's uh, bananas, bananas, and uh, a little dessert of some sort, usually a little candy treat for the kids. I believe there's bread rolls. Yes, there's rolls. Absolutely. What's Thanksgiving without bread? Everything you would need for the Thanksgiving dinner is in there. Pretty much everything you need. So when did this tradition begin? I believe Dad started this uh, tradition back when Wirecrafter started. He uh, had done that at his other company and always had uh, great reviews. And so we started back in 1967 and we've done it every year since. The employees really enjoy the baskets too, right? Absolutely. And that's one of the best things about it because if you hand somebody a little cash bonus uh, for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. you know, where does that money end up? Nobody really remembers it. But when you give somebody a, a good basket full of food with all the good stuff in it and they take it home, the families really like that. The kids go crazy for the peppermint candy or whatever's in the basket. It's, it's always a neat thing. So if we had an option of cash or the basket, I could probably go with a Kentucky bourbon or something. But. Nope, we won't be giving up any bourbon. No, nope. sorry. Nope. That's optional for no the No cash options. Absolutely. All righty. So, here in a short while, we will be out uh, handing out the baskets to all the employees as they drive around and we fill their cars up. They pull up, we put them in. You'll see that. We're going to go live and do that. And we will be closed on Thanksgiving Day and the Friday following Thanksgiving. And I think that's just about everything we have. Steve, thank you very much for being on Mondays with Mill. Thank you for having me, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. We'll see you next week on another episode of Mondays with Mill.